Welcome to Read Cure Channel, the English Reading Rescuers Avenue of SDO Urdaneta City. Hi, dear students! Welcome to Read Cure Channel. I am Teacher Glenn. And I'm Teacher Dexter. Your Reading, reading rescuers, rescuers of the Day. Now, be excited as we learn a new reading comprehension skill, which is predicting outcomes. As a reading comprehension skill, what is predicting outcomes? It means deciding in advance what will happen in the story, based on clues in the passage and the reader's experience with similar situations. Our objective is to anticipate or forecast events based from the given ideas in the story. Don't you know that there are simple tips on how to predict outcomes? First, look for clues. Clues can be pictures or images from the selection. Second, use your background knowledge including the images to guess what will happen next in the passage? Are you ready for the first example? Here it goes! Listen well! If trees are cut down on mountains, what will most likely to happen? If you thought of landslides, floods, and global warming, you predicted right. How we use our past experiences and prior knowledge help us predict outcomes can be seen in the following situations. Joining in a virtual class, Charles looked at the battery on his cell phone. It was at 5%. Due to his addiction to mobile games, he forgot to charge his cell phone last night. It was agreed upon that the class shall be finished in one hour. Remember that to finish the class for an hour, the phone must have been fully charged. Contrary, Charles forgot to do so. Therefore, A. Charles' cell phone lasted the whole time he was logged into virtual class. B. Charles went to the kitchen to have his breakfast. C. The teacher got upset at Charles because he suddenly disappeared from the class. From the given options, let us predict the outcome. Can you now guess what had happened next? Fantastic! You are right! The answer is letter C. The teacher got upset at Charles because he suddenly disappeared from the class. What was behind his disappearance from the virtual class? Charles' cell phone battery drained off. Let us have another passage for predicting outcomes. Here it goes. Tom Kiran was an outstanding athlete in the school. Even during this pandemic, aside from his time in learning modules, he regularly had trainings with his coach. However, his single mom got diagnosed with cancer and no one would take good care of her except him. What do you think would happen in his regular trainings? Will he stop from his schooling? To predict the outcome, take note that only Tankiran is the one responsible to take good care of his sick mother. But being an athlete and a student are both important to Tankiran. So, what will happen next? Tankiran will continue his studies for modular distance learning. However, he will stop from his training as an athlete to prioritize his mother's needs as a cancer patient. What a good son 
isn't he? Truly, he sacrificed his love for sports just to have time for his mother. Pankiran's decision proved his unconditional love and concern for his mother. See, that's how easy and exciting it is to predict outcomes. Simply, just look at the images and clues in the passage and with your background knowledge and experiences, you can make a forecast what will happen next. Do you know now how to predict outcomes? I am very sure that the answer is yes. Great job! I hope you enjoyed this session as much as we did. Thank you for staying with us. Again, this is Teacher Glenn. And I am Teacher Dexter. See you in, in the next reading adventure. adventure.